Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do part two of Louie and Larry. These are two rescue dogs. We believe they're schnauzer mixes. So I have both the brothers in here. You might hear one running around, maybe whining. Uh, they're really close to each other, really attached. What I'm going to do is just do a final cleanup on them. The first groom we did was just kind of to get rid of a lot of the mats that they had and um, we didn't get to get to their nails either because they were just kind of done with being groomed already. So this is part two and we're going to, sh I'm going to show you guys that in case anybody needs this. Okay, and I'm just gonna let the rest of his face dry. I'm gonna dry his brother too, and I'll kind of switch in between for the grooming parts. So we're just gonna take his body down. Uh, we're gonna do our best to imitate a schnauzer cut. We're just gonna really make them look, I mean, they're already cute, but we're gonna make them look a little more cleaned up and cute. So we're gonna start with his body. He should tolerate it fairly well, because last time, I'm just gonna go really short with a one or a one eighth. Uh, depending on what brand you're using and I'm just going to take it along his body and kind of clip off a lot of this hair so we'll see if he will tolerate I'm just going to rub it against him first to make sure yeah he seems to be doing well so I'm just going to take off all of this hair and I'm going with the coat always 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 go with the coat so I'm just going to take off a lot of this hair and we're just going to go into the legs and kind of scoop out. There. Again, I'm just going with the way that the hair grows. I know it might not always be the best angle, but they're really new to grooming and I don't really want to stress them out too much because they're also rescues as well, so I don't know their background, but I want them to just get kind of cleaned up so they, when they go back home, they're groomed and just ready to be enjoyed. So I'm just again taking a one across. I'm gonna leave the hair down on the belly. Uh, that's, I usually see it in more of a straight line. All right, now we just wanna clean up behind his head too. We wanna take off a lot of that hair that's there. Again, it's not going to be the cleanest schnauzer groom, but it's going to be uh, a groom that will work, and that's what we want. Looks pretty good. So I'm just going to go along his legs here and take out some of this body that's here. Again, you always just want to kind of go with the way that the hair grows, and it should take off less and less. Again, I'm going to do this side. Doing a good job, Larry. Okay. And then I want to clean up right here. So I'm going to see if he tolerates it before I start getting too much in there. Okay, so once I take that, if I don't trust if they're going to jump off the table or not, I just kind of scoot it up to the top here. And then I just take out what's left here. I know it's not the best angle. I'm not, I apologize for that, but I'm going to try and do my best best to show as much as I can but I'm just going with the coat and kind of taking off this hair so that he has a shorter cut and again with the belly you're just kind of going with the belly when it it grows it starts to grow in this way so you just want to go with that so same thing just go into the belly I'm gonna leave some chest hair because I think they look better with a little, a little body there. So I'm just gonna kind of comb out his sides here. This, drop it. 
And we're just gonna kind of clean up his, his angles here. Hi. Hi. That looks pretty good on his body. I'm not gonna make them stay here very long again because they're not used to being groomed, so I don't want to bother them too much. So I'm just gonna come in here and then just like even out his angles. So he doesn't have any like pieces of hair sticking out and he just kind of looks even and straight looking. Come along the sides here. I'm just trimming off here. A straight cut. Same thing on his leg. I'm going to leave his tail actually pretty long. I shaved, I think I shaved it down last time, but I'm just, it's kind of wiry and cute and I just want to leave it the way it is. I want to try and clean it up and blend it in a little. So I'm going to try and do him, I think he wants to look this way. This isn't the angle I'd ideally love to do this at, but if he's going to tolerate it here, I'll take it. So I know I want to shave the ears because it's typically what I see when I see schnauzers. It looks really cute on them because their ears just kind of flop to the side. I'd like to do it like petting an ear, but I don't know if he's going to look freaking on this side. With schnauzers, typically they have like this portion kind of shaved off. I'm just gonna scissor it because he's already so done with me. So, grab my handy dandy scissors. And I'm gonna do this side first because I can see it better on this angle. No, buddy, you're okay. You're okay. He does not like his face touch. So I'm just going to comb it off forward and normally it's like a triangular angle so I'm just going to see if he'll even tolerate one snip first. I'm just kind of putting my hand underneath there to kind of direct his head. Um, and I'm just going to, so he'll have more of a shaped face. And then this one, I'm going to go opposite, go in. I like to go across like this, but he's just so distracted. It's difficult to even get him to get a decent. And then on this side here, I'm just going to kind of scissor it down. So it's a little shorter than the rest of his head. So you can kind of falsely do that schnauzer look and then we'll brush all this forward so that we can get that angle in it and so he kind of has like a mush dash going on Again, we're just trying to get the best we can right now because he's, as he gets groomed more, he'll get more tolerant of, he's ready, I can already tell he's just so done with this. So I'm just going to try and clean it up just as much as I can. And bam, bam, bam. That was good, buddy. That was good. I don't want to leave too much eyebrow hair because then good boy. Just cleaning up these little strays here. He has kind of like a curly top, so 
You just move. You just move, 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 huh? You just move, move, move. Just move, move, move. I don't think their nails have ever been cut. They have black nails, so I'm just gonna trim a little bit and look and see about how much I can take off. That one's actually pretty good. My nails are kind of like cracked because they're so long. I'm trying to use a grinder on him since his are pretty cracked. So this one's really long here. I gotta keep holding his paw because if I keep letting him take his paw away, then he's gonna wanna do it more. So if I kinda hang on to it a little bit longer, he kinda gives up. And that's what I want because I wanna be able to cut these off. This one's super long. Okay, that one's better. I'm trying to grind them down too, but I might not be able to because this one's really long. See, and I'm just taking slivers off at a time until I get pretty close. Some of these are like short, some are long, probably where they might have broke off in the shelter. And I'm just kind of looking, shaving slivers off at a time. Because I don't want to get his quick ones. Pretty good. It's still closer than I'd like it to be. I gotta do his back ones because they're for sure needing a little TLC. I can kind of see this one a little bit. Again, same thing. I want to hold on to his paw because I don't want him to think that he can just take it back whenever. This is the method I'm choosing. Because they really need to learn to get their nails cut. These are really long. And these are the longest nails I've ever cut. This is what I ended up with from the start. It's kind of uneven in certain places. I'd like to have shaved right here a little bit more. Um, but I got a nice straight body here. And then his ears got shaved. So I'm okay with with I'm okay with how he looks. Um, I think he was cute before, but he's a little cute and a little more tamed now. And then we're gonna do his brother. Okay, let's just see if he tolerates the vibration. And I'm gonna choke this up to the top. And then just kind of take out this here. They move so much, so this is not gonna be the best groom in the world. What? Get something. We'll get something, right? Right, sweet guy? Hi. Hi. Oh, you want to give me kisses? Yeah. Okay, so same thing. I'm gonna make his ears a little. Same thing, I just want to take down the legs just like this and just kind of comb him out a little. And I just want to take off some of the body here. Of his little leg. 
the way that he, his hair already falls. And then I'm pulling out these hairs here so I can get a nice close cut there. And then same thing, I'm just gonna kind of comb him out here and just follow his leg. Again, if I haven't said this many times before, I've never groomed a schnauzer, so I'm just kind of going with the grooming knowledge that I have and what I think looks aesthetically pleasing. I just want him to not have so much, see how all this hair kind of comes out to the side? And I'm just blending it in just like that so he doesn't have it sticking out anymore. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to comb him forward. He seems a little more tolerant of his head being touched. So we're going to run with that. So I'm just combing it off forward because they have more like a rectangular head. And then again, I just want to trim out some of this body here. And I'm just kind of floating my scissors there. And just taking out some of that body that's on the side of his head. And I'm trying not to get in the way. And then same thing, it's gonna kind of go in an angle. So I want to take this out. And then same thing on this side. We're just, we're gonna go opposite. So I'm gonna come in like this. It's a little awkward, but I just want this cleaned up here. I don't want it to be in his eye like that. And then make it close at the eye, but long at the snout. So I'm just gonna go at an angle just like that. So same thing on this side. I'm gonna go close here. I don't know how easy that is to see if I'm in the way there. So I'm gonna go close and long here. So it kind of gets like a triangle, like a, I keep saying triangle rectangular head and then this I'm just gonna kind of take away a little bit of length his are really long like super duper long and I'm hoping I can get him done without nipping him that one's done for sure Last, I just want to trim around his little feet and I'll let him go because he doesn't need to sit here all day on me. Okay. Same thing, I'm just kind of going around. It's kind of hard to see, but that's there. Going around. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I only plan to do more training videos, more grooming videos, and just more helpful tips and things that we recommend. But thank you so much for watching.